First at 5.30, we want to update you on the massive water main break that's forcing thousands of people in the Bay State to boil their water. Now, the broken pipe in Weston is repaired, but President Barack Obama has signed a disaster declaration offering federal help as the state copes with this major problem. Now, this is video from over the weekend as water gushed from the broken line in Weston. We wanted to find out if a problem like this could happen in Rhode Island, and if so, is there a plan in place to protect the state's drinking water? Iowa to Sioux reporter T.J. Del Santo went searching for answers. He joins us now live with more. It was a 10-foot pipe that blew over the weekend in Weston, Massachusetts, disrupting water service for nearly 2 million people. We wanted to know, could it happen here? Could what happened in Massachusetts happen here in Rhode Island? That's the question I posed to Pamela Marchand of Providence Water. She said a similar problem has happened here back in 1996. Our 102-inch water main blew in uh, Cranston coming from the Situate Reservoir. Oaklawn Avenue residents and businesses were flooded with millions of gallons of water. We've taken quite a few precautions since then. Actually, we have two large size water mains that pretty much encircle the city. In the event one main goes down, another can feed the system. Meanwhile, work around the city is ongoing to replace smaller water mains in city streets. Marshawn says a very aggressive inspection program has helped prevent pipe bursts. And new technology may have saved part of the 102 inch water main from blowing just last year. What we've done is installed acoustic wires inside the water me that picks up the sounds of any of these wires that might be breaking. They detected those sounds and fixed what could have been a major problem. Despite the inspections and technology, shifts in the ground, defects in manufacturing, or simply corrosion could make another water main become a geyser at any time. In most cases, <laughs> I can't guarantee it, but in most cases we should be able to serve water to any of our customers. And again, the repairs on that Weston water main were completed. Now environmental testing will continue for the next couple of days. Until then, that boil water order continues up to our north. Reporting live from the weather yard, I'm T.J. Del Santo, Eyewitness News.